Welcome to this tutorial on 3D geometry. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use GeoGebra to view and construct different structures in 3D space, solids of rotation of polynomial functions, trigonometric functions in 3D space. Here, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 16.04. GeoGebra 5.0.481.0-D To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface Geometry For relevant tutorials, please visit our website. This image shows the rectangular coordinate system. It is made up of mutually perpendicular axes and planes formed by them. The axes are X in red, Y in green, and Z in blue. All points in 3D space are denoted by their X, Y, Z coordinates. The point of intersection of the three axes is the origin O, 0, 0, 0. The gray rectangle in the image depicts the XY plane. The planes divide space into eight octants. Point A is in the X, O, Y, Z octant and has the coordinates 4, 4, 2. Let us draw a 3D pyramid in GeoGebra. I have already opened a new window in GeoGebra. This time, we work with Algebra, 2D Graphics and 3D Graphics views. Under View, select 3D Graphics. Click in 2D Graphics view to draw in 2D. Drag the boundary to see 2D Graphics properly. Click in 2D Graphics. In 2D Graphics view, click on the Polygon tool and click on Origin. 0, 0. This creates point A at the origin. Then click on 2, 0 to create point B. Click on 2, 2 for C. And on 0, 2 to draw D. Finally, click again on A. Note that a quadrilateral Q1 is seen in 2D and 3D graphics views. The length of each side is 2 units. Click on the Move tool. Click in 2D graphics and drag the background. Drag the boundary to see 3D graphics properly. Click in 3D graphics and under Pyramid on the Extrude to Pyramid or Cone tool. In 3D graphics view, Click on the square. In the altitude text box that opens, type 3 and click OK. A pyramid E appears in 3D graphics view. Its base is the quadrilateral Q1. Its apex is E, 1, 1, 3. Its altitude or height is 3 units. Rotation of a polynomial. Let us rotate f of x equals minus 2x raised to 4 minus x cubed plus 3x squared. We will rotate the part that lies in the second quadrant in xy plane about the x-axis. I have already opened a new window in GeoGebra. We will initially work with algebra and 2D graphics views and open 3D graphics view later. In the input bar, type the following line. To type the caret symbol, hold shift key down and press 6. Spaces here denote multiplication. Press enter. Under perpendicular line, click on parallel line and on the y axis. Keep the cursor on the x-axis. Drag it along until you see function f 
x axis at the intersection of f and x axis. Click on this intersection point. Point A appears. Click on slider and in graphics view. A slider dialog box opens. Leave A as the name. Change min value to minus 1.5, max value to 0 and increment to 0 0.05. Click OK. This creates slider A which changes the value of A from minus 1.5 to 0. It will focus on the part of the graph in the second quadrant. In the input bar, type the following in parenthesis. A, comma, F, A in parenthesis. Press enter. This creates point B whose X coordinate is the value of A. Its Y coordinate lies along the curve described by the function F between X equals minus 1.5 and 0. Right click on slider A and check animation on. Point B travels along function F as A changes. Right click on slider A and uncheck animation on. In the input bar, type a, 0 in parenthesis and press enter. This creates point C. As its x coordinate A changes, C moves below point B along the x axis. Underline, click on segment and click on B and C to join them. Click on move graphics view and drag the background to the left. Click on view and check 3D graphics to see the 3D graphics view. Note that what is drawn in 2D graphics appears in the XY plane in 3D graphics. Click in 3D graphics view and on rotate 3D graphics view. Rotate 3D graphics to see the curve properly. Place the cursor on the y-axis in green. Click to see an arrow aligned with the y-axis. Drag to pull the y-axis in or outwards to see the curve. In the input bar, type the following line. This creates circle C with center at point C. Its radius is equal to f of A corresponding to the value of A on slider A. Its rotation is around the x-axis. Press enter. In algebra view, right click on circle C and check trace on option. Right click on slider A and select animation on option. Observe the solid traced as A changes. Watch both 2D and 3D graphics views. Segment BC moves between the x-axis and function F. The part of function F that is in the second quadrant in 2D rotates around the x-axis. Drag 3D graphics to see it from another angle. Finally, let us look at trigonometric functions in 3D. I have already opened a new window in GeoGebra. Under View, click on 3D Graphics. Drag the boundary to see 2D graphics properly. Click in 2D Graphics, then on the Slider tool and in Graphics view. A slider dialog box opens. By default, the number radio button is selected. In the name field, type T. Set min to minus 6, max to 16, and increment of 0 0.1. Click OK. This creates a slider T, which will change T from minus 6 to 16. 
in the input bar type f t in parenthesis equals cos t in parenthesis and press enter. Click in 2D graphics. Under move graphics view, click on zoom out and click in 2D graphics. Click on move graphics view and drag the background. You can see the graph of the cosine function of f of t in 2D and 3D graphics views. Similarly, in the input bar, type g t in parenthesis equals sine t in parenthesis. Press enter. Sine function graph of g of t appears. In the input bar, type h t in parenthesis equals t divided by 4 and press enter. Line h of t is of the form y equals mx where slope m is 1 divided by 4. Click in 3D graphics view. Click on the point tool and click in the gray area in 3D graphics view. This creates point A. Drag the boundary to see its coordinates properly. In algebra view, double click on A. Change the coordinates to the following. Press enter. The x coordinate of A is cos t. The y coordinate is sin t. And t divided by 4 is its z coordinate. Right click on slider t and click on object properties. A preferences dialog box opens. Click on slider tab. Under animation, for repeat, choose option increasing from the drop down menu. Close the preferences dialog box. In algebra view, right click on A and select trace on. Right click on slider T and check animation on. Point A traces a helix in 3D space with coordinates mentioned earlier. Click in rotate 3D graphics view and rotate the background. Rotate 3D graphics view so you are looking down the Z axis at the XY plane. Note that the traces of A are the circumference of a unit circle. Point A moves along the circle as angle T changes. In 2D, its coordinates are cos t, comma, sin t. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use GeoGebra to view and construct different structures in 3D space, solids of rotation of polynomial functions, trigonometric functions in 3D space. As an assignment, Construct a prism and a cylinder anywhere in 3D space. Draw lines to pierce the structures and find their intersection points. Graph the given polynomial. Show the solid formed due to rotation of the peak in the first quadrant in the XY plane. As another assignment, you tried to fly a kite off a cliff. The kite got dumped into the lake below. You gave out 325 feet of string. The angle of declination from where you stand at the cliff's edge to the kite is 15 degrees. How high is the cliff? The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.